Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to create a look using J. Manuel Beauty Makeup. The company reached out to me recently, asked me to create a look using their makeup, so they did send me these products. Um, so this is in collaboration with J. Manuel Beauty. So they did give me three, like, kind of like filters they want me to like focus on. Um, they told me to choose one of them. Um, the filters were Soft Focus, which is more like a everyday natural makeup look. And then there was Illuminated, which is more glowy. And Starburst, which is more like summery, bronzy, and more colorful. So I had to go with the Starburst filter because pop of colors and the glow and everything is me. So I was like... Yes, that's what I want to do. So how their filter, they have like a filter finish technology. Um, and I'm gonna read this, what it, I'm gonna read to you what it says. Um, so it says, our public face makes a statement about our personal selves. So we indistinctively want to put our best face forward. One way we do this today is with our use of digital filters. Almost everyone filters their photos before posting them online. Technology makes it easy to control how the world views us. Um, that's why J. Manual Beauty developed this distinctive line of beauty based on applying filter finish technology makeup. All of J. Manual Beauty face products, also known as um, filter finish collection, are formulated with ingredients that may make the photo perfect finish that we love to achieve with our digital filters. I'm sorry, the last filter wasn't Starburst. It is actually sunlit. That's the one I'm gonna do, which is the very like bronzy one. So it says some of the key ingredients in the filter finish collection are diamond dust, micronized silk, and crushed gemstones. Um, these ingredients help create a soft focus slash blurring effect on the skin. The FFC collection de-emphasizes the appearance of large pores and fine lines and creates the illusion of filtered flawless flawlessness on all skin types and skin tones. So what I'm gonna do is just focus on the Sunlit collection. They give me like a outline of what they want me to use. First off, I'm gonna start with foundation. This is the J. Mignon Beauty Filter Finish Collection Skin Perfector Foundation. All right, so I'm going to use their brush that they sent me. Um, it's like a foundation and a concealer in one. This is the Blend and Buff Kabuki brush. Alright, so now I'm going to take the concealer. This is the Photo Illusion Concealer. So I'm going to take the medium and the light and I'm going to mix these together. So I'm going to use the concealer side of that brush um, to apply and blend out. And this is going to be a little bit lighter because I do want to highlight the face as well. This concealer looks really good on top of the skin. I think it doesn't look dry at all. It's like super hydrating. Very nice. Something I really look forward, really look for in a concealer. The way it sits on the skin. All right, so now I'm just going to take this powder. This is the Lux powder, um, and this is in light filter number three. And I'm just going to take this and set my under eyes with that and set the areas that I highlighted my face with. All right, so now I'm going to bronze up the skin a bit, make it a little bit more um, glowy, warm, and summery. So I'm going to take the bronzer, and this is in Four Play, really pretty. So it has a little bit of a shimmer to it, so it's gonna have a nice glow. So I'm just gonna put that around the perimeters of the face and on top of the cheekbones. I'm using a fluffy brush because I don't want to apply it too intensely and too harsh. So now I'm gonna take the 3D Illuminator, and this is in shade Stardom. And I'm going to use the um, Damien No Beauty Fade Brush to highlight with. So, swirl it in there. Oh yes. I 
feel like this um, highlighter is like really good to like build up. If you want like a soft highlighter, it'd be easy to get a really soft one or obviously blinding. So take some down the nose. The Cupid's bow. This brush is like super soft. A little bit on the chin, a little bit right above the brow bone. Just give a nice glow when you turn to the side. All right, so now that the face is done, I'm gonna move on to the eyes. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that concealer that I used before. I'm gonna put that on the eyelids to prime the eyelids for eyeshadow. All right, now so I'm just gonna take this powder that I just set my face with. And I'm just going to put that over the concealer just so it's not sticky because eyeshadows are easier to blend on top of powder. Alright, so for eyes, I'm going to use this palette. Um, this is called the Eyeshadow Quad, Intense Color Eyeshadow Quad. Um, this is the version Loud. So these are very warm, very like spring and summery, I feel like. So we're going to create a look with this. All right, so I'm gonna take the yellow out of the palette. I'm gonna put that into my crease, just with a blending brush. I kind of put it everywhere. I'm actually just going to put that right over the eyelid as well. Just kind of make this an all yellow look. Just because for the lips, we're going to do some bright red. I don't want it to be too colorful because it might clash with the lip. But I do want it to be nice and springy and bright. So I'm going to take the brown and I'm going to put that a little bit into the crease. Just kind of darken that up just a bit. Add a little bit of depth and dimension. And then just a little bit on the outer V of the eye. I'm just going to blend that inwards. All right, so now I'm gonna take the brown again out of the palette. I'm going to run that under my lower lash line just to deepen that a little bit. And then I'm gonna take an angled brush and I'm going to take that brown and I'm going to put that right in the lash line on the top and just kind of line it. I'm not gonna do a wing or anything. I'm gonna connect the lower and upper lash line. And now I'm just gonna take a little fluffy brush and I'm going to just smoke out the top lash line. All right, so now I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes. And for mascara, I'm going to use their Noir Mascara. I'm actually really impressed with this mascara um, on how well, look at my bottom lashes, oh my gosh. So since my top lashes are very thin and they don't want to curl, um, they do curl a little bit, but then they don't stay curled. I am going to go ahead and put false lashes on, just something more natural. All right, so the eyes are finished and this is what they look like. I'm literally like obsessed with these. Um, I did off camera, I did the other eye, put this um, eye pencil in to my waterline. It's called 24K, it's like a yellow gold. And then I put just the yellow eyeshadow from the palette and I kind of just take a little tiny brush and just pack that on top just to get a little bit of yellow in it to the uh, waterline and that just complements the eyeshadow on top. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to the lips, which is the last part of this tutorial. All right, so my camera cut out when I was applying the lipstick. I'm sorry about that, but the application was amazing. So I did use this lipstick called Siren and here's what it looks like in the tube. Just a nice red. Um, so I put that all over at my lips. So it's just super comfortable and it honestly looks amazing. It's so even on the lips, as you can see. It looks, you can tell it's hydrating. But yes, it's so pretty, oh my gosh. It looks more orange 
in my monitor, but it's red. Hopefully it shows up red. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like a little prime, primary color scheme. Got yellow, my eyes are blue, and like red on the lips. All right, so here's the finished look with the sunlit filter on my face. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. I really enjoyed it. It's like a very simple, um, I have pretty bold too with the lip. Um, a very simple spring slash summer look um, since we are getting into the warmer months. And they, so I will have all the links down below to J Manual Beauty, the website, everything. They also do have an app where you can go and purchase their makeup. Um, and you can also find your um, foundation shade just by uploading a picture, um, like a selfie, to the app. And it kind of tells you like what shades of everything that you need, so that's awesome. And if you guys didn't know, Jay Manuel is actually um, from America's Next Top Model. He was the one with like the silver hair that was always on the photo shoots, helping out the models. So that's a fun fact. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And leave any thoughts down below. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.